Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be looking at our Linux shell. In the last video, we looked how to check out your internet speeds from the shell uh, running a simple command speed test. But how do you test? And, and that just grabs a server nearby. For me, it was either Miami or Tampa or, Tampa or Bonita, you know, some town here in Florida where there's a server that it can do speed tests on. But let's say you want to test the speeds on your local network from one machine to another. Well, that's what we're going to look at today. And we're going to use this program, IPERF. Uh, so if you're on a Debian-based system, you should be able to sudo apt or apt-get or, or aptitude install IPERF. Uh, I don't know if, if you're supposed to pronounce it IPERF or IPEF, whatever. That's the name of the command. Now, you see I have uh, two panes open here. The top one here that I'm in right here is actually my um, server in the other room, my Pogo Plug server. Now, the bottom one is the machine that I'm currently on. So I'm just SSH in there so you can see both. So on one machine, you're going to want to log in and start a server. So once you have IPERF installed, just run the command IPERF space dash S and hit enter and it will be listening as a server. Now, in the other window, you can type in IPERF-C to connect or client, I'm not sure which one it stands for. You are the client and you're connecting to and then you give it the IP address. So the server in the other room that's currently is the, the set up as the server for this is uh, 192.168.1.2, but obviously you type in the IP address of whatever your machine is. And when you hit enter, you'll see on both of them, they are now connected and they're doing a transfer speed test. It's going to go for about 10 seconds and that's going to give you, you know, the speed uh, that it was able to transfer at. So you see right here, uh, it transferred uh, just over 100 megabytes. Uh, it took just over 10 seconds or just 10 seconds and you got your bandwidth speeds uh, going and coming from the machines here uh, uh, which is pretty good uh, uh, you know uh, I don't know uh, I have very cheap routers uh, I would assume that if you had better routers you probably would get better but I usually just buy the $20 deals online um, uh, but now you can see your megabit rate and you can see what your router is supposed to get and are you really getting that? Now there's a lot of factors to speed of your machine like this machine up here that I'm running as the server is a pogo plug uh, which uh, is I don't know seven eight years old now and you can buy them online for seven dollars uh, so it may not be the fastest machine uh, I'm not sure what its ethernet speeds are supposed to be so if I actually connect to my laptop uh, or something like that that's a better machine, I might get better results than this. Um, but, you know, 94 megabits per second uh, is is fine with me for, I mean, I'm just backing up files so sometimes it's large, but I just let it run. But anyway, if you wanted to test out your machines, that's how you would do it, uh, test out the speeds on your local network. So you just need to install this program on both machines, again, IPERF, and then set up one as a server just by doing IPERF-S, get that going. And then on your other machine, IPERF-C and the IP address of the server you just set up. I guess theoretically you could run this across, you know, the internet as well. Uh, if you had a server remotely, you could, I, I guess, do this as long as you know you ended up, you did port forwarding on your router or have the militarized zone or something like that, obviously. And if you have no clue what I'm talking about, well, then you need to learn a little bit more about networking before you start doing things remotely like that. But at least on my local network, I can check the speeds. You know, again, it runs for about 10 seconds and it will give me my uh, 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 megabits per second transfer speed. And it's that simple. I do thank you for watching. Uh, I hope that you have a great day. Please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris of the K. There's a link in the description. Also a link to patreon.com forward slash mailx1000 where you can support me. Or on my webpage, you can go to the support section where it also has a link to the Patreon page or a PayPal link. If you can't support me financially, I do thank you for watching. And you can feel free to like, share, subscribe, comment. And as always, I hope that you have a great day.